Hey yo, we back. And today I want to show you how to add that secret sauce to your footage using the power of AI. By combining the use of footage, AI, Premiere Pro, I'm going to show you a few different effects that you can use for music videos, short content, and just daily posts. What's going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again with another YouTube tutorial. Yes, sir. I'm continuing my AI exploration and I'm excited to show you guys what I've been working on and what I've been playing with using this new AI technology. It's always good to keep up with the latest trends and add new tools to your skill set. Let's get right to it. I don't want to chit chat too much. Let's just hop in the computer and start on these effects. For this effect, we're going to create this dope fake FPV drone using just our phones. It's this dope app called LumaLabs.ai. Now it takes your 360 footage that you shot on your phone and makes it so you can create keyframes within the space. So me and my homeboy went out and captured some clips to use for this effect. So the best way to capture this is you're gonna need one other person. It's hard to do this by yourself. You can use it where it's just flat. It's just not gonna be able to be in 360 space. So what you're gonna do is that person's gonna take either the camera or your drone or your phone, whatever, and grab a 360 version of you. They're gonna go all the way around. Make sure you go around a few times and get a few different angles, whether that be up top, below, close into your shoes, close in your face, zoom out. Just make sure you get a 360 version. You can get it like 30 seconds. It shouldn't be that long. Make sure you're still or the subject is gonna be still because pretty much it's gonna be like the mannequin challenge. Just do a mannequin challenge, get a full 24, uh, 360 version pointing yourself. Be out here, Pike and Rose, man, Maryland, getting some flicks in, good content. I just wanted to give y'all like a little insight. Have a good time. You just know you gotta get out here and shoot. You know what I'm saying? Practice makes perfect, you feel me? So that's how we doing. You gotta get fly on them, get outside on them. Yeah, feel me. So now you got your footage. So take your footage and we're gonna head over to lumalabs.ai. Over and head over to lumalabs.ai, right? Uh, if you don't already have an account, go ahead and create an account real quick. It's free. Shout out to the people who are pushing the technology forward with free access. I mean, I know it's not gonna be free forever because this is really, really good. I know eventually they're at least gonna charge $10 a month, but like while it's free, use it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna create this button right here, click create. You're gonna go to your respective file or whatever, and then drop in your video. Me standing still, 360 motion. We're gonna name this DMV2. And we're just gonna upload it. Now it's cute. It's gonna start processing. As you can see right now, it pretty much gives you like 360 angle isn't that fire i'm giving y'all all these gems all the knowledge to make and elevate your videos at least you can do a subscribe bruh right here you're gonna click this little square box right here right that's gonna give you like a empty version of you but it's nothing really going on so you got to click these layers to toggle back that background bring some of these layers back so now down below you can come from the bottom come from the top spin around you know what i'm saying click on this the camera icon right here. Make sure you're in first person point of view. You want to make sure it's on custom. You could play around with it. They got isolate. You can just press orbit. It'll go around and spin around you. But that's boring. So why are we going to do it like that? When we can add keyframes. I like to start mine's kind of zoomed out. Boom. Now add another keyframe. You're gonna click edit. Maybe we could add like some zoom into it. It moves off to the side. Maybe it can roll a bit. Cool. Press the check mark. Add another keyframe. Cool. It looks all good. I, it's a couple of things I have to fix, obviously, but that's pretty much like the jux of the the effect itself, you can use this and add it to per, uh, different music video effects like I showed you guys at the beginning. I like that right there. So then after you kind of have something that you like, you're gonna click render right here. You can render it in 16 by nine, five by four, but we're gonna go with the good old nine by 16 because we're using this for uh, reels and TikTok.
For this effect, you might have seen this trend with hyperlapses that use AI to replace certain frames, as well as websites that can generate a whole new video from your video. You can create unique video styles by using either stock footage or footage you've captured. But with AI, it makes it super easy. Let me show you. For this effect, what we're gonna do is, I already have some performance scenes that I already shot from a previous music video, so we're just gonna use that. You can use that or you can use some stock footage. Up to you. And once again, you have to create an account Go ahead and create your account. I'm just gonna log in. I got a few credits. Right now, I'm just gonna go to the flipbook emoji. We're gonna go ahead and transform. We're gonna go ahead and locate those files. It's already uploaded. Now we're gonna continue to a prompt, right? Now there's a few different type of ways that you can do it. They do give you previews prior to, so they have some like already set up, like for the styles that you want. I can do full of realistic, 3D rendering, steampunk, oil painting, watercolor, cinematic. Write your own idea and description. Um, like I said, with prompting for AI, that's gonna be like a major key. So you gotta gotta play around with your different prompts. Go out there and search, see what other things that's available. You can use Chat GPT to help create some of your prompts too. Like I said, you gotta get out there and try some things. You can use some of the prompts from Mid Journey. Throw it in here. See what you come up with. I'm not trying to think nothing too crazy. I just want a futuristic cyberpunk in the style of Ra Rodell Gonzalez using this clip. It's gonna give you some previews before you have to actually use your credits. It gives you a few previews of what it's gonna look like. When it finally finishes the previews, click which one you like and just go ahead to create video. I'm doing a regular 16 by nine sequence, pretty much. Go ahead, lay out that main performance scene. Boom. There we go, right here. You got the other scene, you double click on it, drop it right on top. And now this is what we came up, this is what it came up with. Like I said, quick effects, nothing too difficult with this one. I just want to show you guys the what's out there. Like go out there and start experimenting. There's different apps going on, like Kyber and Runway aren't the only like text and video apps. So pretty much for this one, I have the main clips here, boom. And then like around here when he lands like this, Real quick, since these ones are the shortest ones, the top two, I'll probably go like here to like right here. Boom, couple of clips, drag that down here. That's this clip here. Right here, clip both of these like that. Got a thing like that, like that. So now you'll have something that looks something like this. Right here, boom, boom. With some clips. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring in the cyberpunk one. Boom. Do the cyberpunk one. Maybe cut that here. We might bring it back in later. Right here, we can cut this one. Turn this one on here. Boom, the second layer, now you have this, it turns into this. It might go back to cyber, cut this, bring it on one, one layer, cut this. Oh, bring this down a little bit. Bring this one. Right there, bring this back. And like, before you know it, we can just clip both of these, bomb, like that. Bring this down and then end on that. So after that, take all of these, bring it down to the first layer. And now you should have something that looks something like this. Boom. So that kind of looks weird, right? So you're gonna have to add some like effects to make it less noticeable for those harsh transitions. But I think that's part of the effects. Like here, I just dropped in Film Impacts Phosphor. I'm about to make my own, I am not gonna lie. I'm finna make my own transitions because I be giving these people too much promo, dead ass. And they, they don't got no affiliate program or nothing. So I definitely need to stop shouting them out or whatever, fuck that. All right, so I dropped, this effect on there and it kind of gives it like a a torn city look so here we go 
it's breaking like it's broken then you have something that looks like this then i'll probably do it again so it's like multiple at one time so it's like from here to here to maybe one more time back to that right maybe we could do something quick like a glitch since it's going straight into cyber the cyber town or whatever the cyber look maybe do something like that something that's like less noticeable something like this boom now that's one way that you could do it like i said if you want to take it up a level grab this clip here bada boom bada bing grab a clip from your sequence that you kind of like like here turn on save and now we're going to go ahead and open up after effects right click on it replace with after effects composition oh. all right now you just want to mask him out particularly i heard they got 3.0 for the new after effects i'm waiting for the full versions to come out there's beta versions out right now but i'm just that's not my steez back to premiere you're gonna have your image already on top and you can already see where i'm going with this so boom image on top like i said now you have this effect and now come in you'll have the glitching going on behind him and now what now he changes into this when he turns his head he turns into this yeah draw a little adjustment layer like i always do guys add a little color so everything kind of like matches or whatever now that you have at least two new techniques in your toolbox let's go ahead and combine them open kyber again and now what we're gonna do is take that luma video that we made earlier y'all see where i'm going with it that luma real fpv video we made earlier in the first effect go ahead and continue to prompt and like i said do y'all same thing i really like that boondocks effect so we'll just do boondocks anime Something I didn't say in the first one, question mark, it's more wild or less stable. Me, I like it like right in the middle because you can go all the way up to 10. I like to do five. I like what I see. All right, so I really like this one. This one's tough too. I kind of like the little blue that they have in here. So we're just going to take this and create our video. After that's done, pretty much download it and then that's that. But like you took a regular video, made it FPV, the added AI, you know, it's, it's levels, levels. You feel me? So try it out, see what you can come up with, play around with that. All right, that's all I got creators. That's it. I hope this helped you get those gears turned in for your next project. I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys do start doing some research on AI and the technologies that's readily available to us. By the time you catch up, you're gonna be all behind and late and now just now hit to something like, you gotta get ahead of the curve. That's how I know they see what's going on over here, y'all. To the ODM community, I appreciate y'all as always. You guys keep learning. Keep creating, and most importantly, keep hustling, baby. And until next time, Ollie Dope, I'm checking out. Yes, sir.